What's going on? I'm Sam. I fell asleep at my shop overnight, so I gotta get home and get ready for the day. Come on, Griffin, let's go home. Griffin's super ready for breakfast, so I gotta get him fed. I didn't really get anything done all day. What are you doing? That's not true. I got stuff done, but I wasn't recording it. So I went home, got ready, and met up with Peter, and we were gonna go to this fish swap meet in Columbus, but we got not even quite halfway there and we had to turn around and come back. So that was a little sad. We didn't get to go to the fish swap meet, but we did hang out for a little bit, did some errands. We got to eat at this pho place. I didn't really get any video of us eating there because I got super distracted and forgot. After that, we found this estate sale, went there. Again, I didn't really get any footage, but I did get all this cool stuff. And then I decided that since I didn't really have a video for today, I was gonna make a whiteboard and I've been wanting to make this whiteboard for my shop for a while now. So I went to Lowe's, I bought the board that I needed and when I was on the back roads, it actually snapped in half on the top of my truck. But luckily Peter had some at his shop. So I grabbed a piece of that and put it on my truck. I'm about to go head home to finish my video that I'm uploading today. That's actually what I spent a lot of today on because today is the day that I'm releasing the video of him flying for the first time. So you're gonna be watching this video in like four or five days from now and his flight happened four or five days ago. It works out somehow or another. So I gotta go upload that real quick. I'm gonna go to my shop and then I'm gonna build this whiteboard that I've been wanting to build. So today's mostly just gonna be about that. I'll show what I got at the estate sale when I get to the shop. I even got this cool little rolling cart thing for $15 because I sent a picture to Dave and he said he wanted it. So I left it in the office for him. At that estate sale, not only did I get that table, I got this cool little clamp. It has a broken piece, so it won't really work how it's supposed to. Part of that clamp is broken, but it will look cool as a decoration. Actually, I take that back. It seems to work pretty well, even being slightly broken or really broken. I think that was $2. I got this hammer for $2. I got this pickaxe for $4 because the one I just got at Goodwill was falling apart, but that one was only $2. So, got another pickaxe, which is nice. I got five of these plastic containers for $2 each, so a total of $10. And I got this oil heater that seems to work fine for about $4. I take it back. This is starting to smell really bad. I'm not sure I trust it. It could just be dust burning off because it's been sitting for a while, but I will definitely keep my eye on this thing if I ever plan to use it. So I got the one from Peter's shop, strapped it down a little better with a another board underneath it and this time I was able to bring it to my shop in one piece so now I'm gonna try and make this dry erase board. I had some problems recording this the first time so it's a couple days later and I'm just gonna build this again. pretty perfect and it hides this weird square thing that was on the wall I don't know what it's from it looks like they had a machine or something mounted up here but instead of painting it I just hung this up for now and once there's a couch in front of it you won't even notice that there was something weird with the wall to begin with I did do this pretty down and dirty I could have done things a lot better the biggest thing is this board was damaged from being in the water and just being scratched up at Peter's shop so I definitely want to rebuild it but it's really nice for what it is. And when I wanna revisit something like this, I usually get way too busy and it just ends up staying like this forever. <laughs> I'm super happy with this outcome and I'll probably make a couple smaller ones 
just to have around this shop as well. The cool thing about this are the sheets are super cheap and even with this small scrap piece, I can easily build a frame and make one or two more boards depending on how big I wanted them. I only needed three of the one by fours. I needed that one board, which was $14. The total cost was less than $40. I already had the stain and the screws and most people are already gonna have those. So all you really have to do is buy this whiteboard and the border you wanna use, whether that be aluminum channel or wood like this. And then making something to hold the markers is also super easy. All you have to do is buy whatever container you want and then just screw it to the wall. I went with two different types, this pail and this basket, and I put one on each side. And I'm really liking how they turned out. This was a really fun and super easy project to do. I'm pretty sure I ruined the board just a little bit by letting it get wet. Now that I have a whiteboard though, I can keep track of everything I'm doing and be just a little bit more organized. So I already re-recorded this build once. I don't have time to do it again, but I do want to say that the new board that I bought works so much better than this board that's up here. So I am going to have to either replace this or paint it. What I might be able to do is just cut a section that fits in here in the frame and put it over it. I'll still use it first to see how much of an inconvenience it is, but if you look at this clip, you can see how much easier it is to erase this new board, which is the good board. Than this old board that's been around Peter's shop and got rained on. So if this first build had worked out with the first one I bought, it would have turned out great. It's a pretty easy project and you can even make it better than I did. Let me know if you try this yourselves. Tomorrow's Monday morning, so I need to wake up super early. I'm gonna try and play in the stock market in the morning and then do stuff around the shop in the afternoon. This week I'm gonna try and finish up my shop so that it's gonna be a working shop instead of just a garage that I'm kind of storing stuff in. I at least want to try and get a desk built or set up for when I'm doing paperwork. Eventually I want to get some editing stuff in here and just make it a little more functional, livable for me. Where I can come in here and do computer work and all that kind of stuff where right now I have to go home for that. Well thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.